Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will show you a mod list that will allow you to hunt in Project Zomboid with Build 41. As you may know, the developers of Project Zomboid are planning to upgrade Project Zomboid to Build 42, which will allow us to hunt animals and much more. But meanwhile, we can use a couple of mods that will allow us to hunt and live in the Kentucky wilderness. So the first add-on on this list is called Immersive Hunting. This will be the base of our mod list. Immersive Hunting will allow you to hunt animals like bear, deer, boar and other small game. You have to use specific weapons that will allow you to hunt. The mod can be used with vanilla weapons, but some modded weapons will also work, like Brita's weapon pack. In order to hunt, you must go deep in a forested area with your gun ready. You need to enable search mode and select animal filter. You will start seeing tracks and signs of animals, which you can pick up and investigate. Depending on the skill of your characters and you have a chance to hit the animal you are tracking. It's not easy and you need a lot of patience to be successful. The rest of the mods that I will show you will go hand in hand with this mod. Now let me show you another mod that can help you extend your survival gameplay. Food Preservation Plus allows you to preserve your food by smoking the meat or salting and canning your food. It also allows you to brew ethanol which can be used as fuel for your vehicles or generators. You can also make alcohol with this mod. This mod is from the same author of Immersive Hunting so they work really well together. Next we got Common Sense and Ascension Crafting which are two different mods that will allow you to do a lot more things in Zomboid. Common Sense allows you to pry open doors, windows and vehicles with a crowbar. It also allows you to open canned food with a spoon or other hand tools. You can also attach a flashlight to your belts which is really handy in Zomboid. Common Sense is used by many players as it is an essential mode for surviving in PZ. Essential crafting also allows you to do a lot more things and it complements Common Sense mode very well. It has a lot of features like it makes lighters last twice as long and can be refilled with petrol or ethanol. You can crush rocks with a hammer into smaller pieces to be used for other things. Locks can be cut into twigs. You can also use leather strips to tie stuff to your spears. It also allows you to build tents for example. It has a lot of features that probably need a whole video just to explain them all. So make sure to check out and read the whole description on the Steam Workshop. Another great mod for hunting and surviving in the wilderness is nearby traps. In Project Zomboid you have to place traps 80 tiles away and every now and then you have to check if you have caught something. Nearby traps remove the need to place traps 80 tiles away and it also lowers the chance for traps to be destroyed. No longer you have to place traps 80 tiles away from your base. Traps with this mod can be placed just a few tiles away allowing you to trap animals next to your base. Trees have a loot mod, allows you to check the branches of trees for loot. You can get lucky and find some insects or get a couple of twigs from the trees without the need for an axe. Speaking of axes, check out more durable axes mod which triples the durability of the axes and also makes them more efficient at cutting wood without changing the damage they do to the zombies. I just found it ridiculous how you can chop a couple of trees before your wood axe breaks. We are almost halfway through this video so make sure to like. Your tiny like can help my channel a lot and if you're looking for great mod lists and guides on Project Zomboid make sure to subscribe as well. Next mod is the lantern mod which obviously adds lanterns to the game which you can find or craft yourself. There are two types, one is gas powered and the other one is battery powered. They are great just to carry around and also you can put them on the ground and turn them on and off just like any light fixture in the game. 
Warning, this is not compatible with Sapphire's heaters because it will break some of its mechanics. But the batteries mod improves the device's battery by giving them a lot more battery life. If you played Zomboid without this mod, you know that a flashlight battery will only last for a few minutes. Well, with this mod, you can customize how long a battery will last. You can set the settings from the sandbox custom menu. It also adds a hand crank that you can craft or find so that you can charge the batteries yourself. I added this mod to the list because it works well with the lantern mod. Now let's say that you want to build your own custom cabin in the woods. What I usually do is I build a cabin that looks like a box. So how can you build better buildings for your needs? A new mod called the building menu allows you to extend and improve your building options. You can build just about anything you want with this mod, with a vast selection of tiling, roof and also furniture. No longer you will build cabins that look like boxes. This mod also allow you to build appliances and outdoor decorations. Now finding loot in the wilderness can be quite challenging, but what if you can find more diverse loot on zombies? Mad's awesome zombie loot mod allows you to customize loot that you can find on zombies. You can set all the options in the sandbox options menu. Some of my friends like to use this mod to find a bit more random ammo or medicine on zombies. But for example, you can set it so you can find a bit more things like tools and hardware so that you can build your cabin a bit more quickly. It is very customizable, especially if you're looking to create a PvP server. By the way, this last mod is very underrated. This is the change sandbox option, which allow you to change any setting from the sandbox while you are in the middle of your playthrough. Intended for single player only, it allows you to change any option or present while you are playing. This mod is a game changer, no longer you have to restart your playthrough because you forgot to set some option from the sandbox menu. Simply right click on the screen while you are playing and select the change sandbox menu options. After you have selected your changes, press apply and quit to the main menu. Then just reload your save and voila, you've changed the settings that you need. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this mod list presentation. Now if you want to try these mods, don't worry because I made a Steam mod collection ready made so that you don't waste time searching for the mods one by one. All you have to do is open up this hunting mod list collection and subscribe to all the mods in this list. Make sure to like this content and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more mod lists like these. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again very soon.